Right, today I'm looking at Metal Rain 300 ship. It's called the Event Horizon. It looks like a big old missile. It's huge, that's for sure. So it looks like that's the main door. It's got a nice interior to look at. Nice style on the fins. Right, so let's have a look inside here. Looks like there's somewhere for me to dock. There we go. So, this is Metal Rain's ship, and he's wearing a blue Master Chief skin today so that uh, he can take part in the Hang'em High video that we're doing later. I like the interior of this ship, it's really clean. So, you've just got a giant hull, and that's obviously the core. Which has got a pretty cool design. Minimalist. <laughs> so here's the computers. That's the weapons computer. And we've got more rooms down here. Oh, this is cool. Let's have a look. We're going to assume that each of these rooms looks the same. So you've got lots of rooms. Yeah. On both sides. So this is navigation and communications room. Yeah. These are spare rooms. Yep. So what's this room called then, mate? Like this, it sort of looks like he's got a bunch of desks, or maybe they're gonna be rooms too. These are areas for more rooms, right. We got an airlock here with a gravity block in it. Huh, very good. Very nice. Whoa. <laughs> so, yeah. So he's saying that he's actually left this part open to be customised by the owner however they see fit. So that's the reason that this is actually still empty. Cool. So all in all, it's a pretty impressive ship. There's a lot of potential for putting detail in here due to the fact of it being so open. So that's cool. Um, we've had a look at the back section, so... This part is obviously the dock. Hmm. We find out what this beastie is called, I think, and then ask him if it, if it shoots. Oh, 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 it's moving. <laughs> okay, so what we're being told is that this is the front of the ship. Okay, so it doesn't look like a big space rocket because actually it's. Uh, that's the engines at the back, <laughs> and it's actually flying forwards, <laughs> so that's my bad for uh, getting it the wrong way around there. Okay, so here we go, yeah, lovely. Okay, so if I say hold fire, what that means is stop firing. Here we go, one, fire, so this will be a single click. Okay, so that was one click, and let's see what do we get. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Well, I'm gonna have to count this properly because it's uh, the biggest one yet. Here we go. I have to count it properly now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 26 deep, quite a tight penetration gap as well there, so. One second. Mm. Yeah, he sort of shot into his own hole there, so I so, sort of said to him, look, try finding another hole. Make another one. did a one click again. <laughs> see, I can tell what you're doing, Brad, because I can see the pattern. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at the hole from one second of fire just there. So it's got a very, very long penetration. He's almost made it all the way through. So, uh... Alright, so now we're going to do the sustained fire right through to the back. Right, so I've told him to go for sustained fire, so I'm just going to wait for the game to sort of catch up. Okay, so having a look at the sustained fire model, what we've got is a, a circular hole into which it is drawing quite a nice, it's a real tight tunnel all the way down to the end. I, he stopped because it was causing quite a bit of lag, uh, but yeah. That's, that's shown that one quite nicely, as you can see. It's slightly different from normal because it's a circular weapon. Um, so it's a different pattern than what we normally tend to see. Whoops. The circular arrangement of the AMCs is having a big difference on the way it's eating through the material. So that's interesting. So, thanks for watching yet again. As you can see, I've got God Mode on my surfboard. Um, thanks again to Metal Rain for making it down to show me his ship. It's an awesome ship, really long. I'm um, going to be doing more ship reviews like this. I'm um, going to be doing more of the AI fights. I think that I messed up a little bit with the filming. Um, I've got more protected sectors than 222, so I think that I may have been doing testing in a protected sector, and of course the AI doesn't work, so... I'm going to build a new Proving Grounds uh, station which is destructible for us to do these tests around and then that way we know we're not getting uh, any conflicting signals from my own settings. I even posted on Reddit that I thought it was a bug, uh, but uh, I'm the first to admit where I'm wrong and yep, I was wrong. I, I was in a protected sector but it wasn't 222, it was a different one. So anyway can't wait to see you next time thanks for watching yet again and uh yeah see you soon